Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been warned their brand could be further eroded if the couple do not have a positive experience with Spotify. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit their royal duties two years ago and moved to the US, where they reside with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. The couple have gone on to pursue commercial opportunities outside of the firm, including signing a major deal with Spotify, worth £18 million. However, the partnership yielded no content for the streaming platform in 2021. So far, Achul Audio has only released one show, a 35-minute holiday special that featured guests including Deepak Chopra, James Corden, and Elton John. According to reports, Spotify was expecting further content from the Sussexes last year. This was because their company Archul Audio hired podcast producer, Rebecca Sarnans in the summer of 2021, and stated it was looking forward to sharing more content later in the year. However, no new projects for the couple have appeared on the platform. Since then Megan has announced she is working on a podcast called Archetypes. The show is meant to dissect, explore, and subvert the labels that hold women back, according to a press release. Marketing expert Baruch Labunsky believes that, if the couple has a positive experience with Spotify, it could boost their overall brand. But the internet marketing expert and web consultancy CEO claims that, if not, the deal could further erode it. Mr. Labunsky refers to the recent blow experienced by the couple after one of two projects the Sussexes had announced with Netflix was scrapped in its development stage. Earlier this month, it was reported that Netflix had axed an animated series created by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex as part of their $100 million, £72 million, partnership with the streaming giant. The project, with the working title Pearl, followed the adventures of a 12-year-old girl and was described as celebrating extraordinary women throughout history. Baruch Labunsky claims Meghan and Harry may now rely on their Spotify deal going forward, as the other ventures launched by the couple haven't brought success. He claims this could cause executives to rethink bringing on more projects. He told that, Harry and Meghan's other ventures, so far, haven't brought success. That may cause executives to rethink bringing on more projects. Mr. Labunsky refers to other commercial opportunities pursued by the couple after stepping down from royal duties. The founder of Rank Secure, a web design and internet marketing firm, added, a positive experience with Spotify will also help the couple's overall brand or it will further erode it. Last June, Meghan released The Bench, a children's story focusing on the evolving and expanding relationship between father and son. The former Suits actress book is said to be inspired by a poem Meghan had written for her husband shortly after the birth of their son, Archie. The bench reached the top of the New York Times bestseller list of children's picture books since it was released over in the U.S. Despite the book doing well in the U.S., it failed to break the top 50 sales chart in the U.K. Plans and preparations have been underway for Queen Elizabeth II's Platinum Jubilee which celebrates her historic 70 years on the throne. A number of events are taking place in June to mark the occasion and after much speculation, it's now been confirmed that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be returning to England to join in the festivities. However, while the Sussexes have been banned from standing alongside other members of the family on the Buckingham Palace balcony, a royal commentator is revealing that the couple could make an appearance after all. We just may see the Duke and Duchess standing with the monarch and working royals during the Platinum Jubilee, plus who in Meghan's family is flying to England uninvited.